Soldiers of Empyrea, today we stand upon the precipice of destiny. Our citadel, a bastion of honor and courage, has withstood the storms of time and the tides of war. We are the guardians of its walls, the defenders of the Empyrean legacy, as warriors of the Empyrean Empire. We bear the weight of history upon our shoulders, and today we shall etch our names into its story with the fiery quill of valor. My comrades, the enemy hordes may outnumber us, their cannons may roar like thunder, but remember this, they do not possess our unyielding spirit, our unbreakable unity. We are the heirs of battles long won, the protectors of countless victories, the embodiment of the Empyrean Empire's indomitable will. They seek to crush us, to erase us from memory, but they forget that within these walls beats the heart of a relentless force that has faced adversity before and emerged victorious. Our resolve is unshakable, our purpose unwavering. We shall not falter, we shall not retreat. Look around you, my fellow soldiers. See the faces of your comrades, your brothers and sisters in arms. Each one of them has sworn an oath to defend this citadel, to safeguard our empire. We fight not just for ourselves, but for the generations that will come after us. Let them look back upon this day and know that we did not bow, we did not yield, we stood fast. As we brace for the storm that approaches, let our battle cries resound through the heavens. Let our courage be a beacon that lights up the darkest of hours. We are the last line of defense, the final bastion of hope for the Empyrean Empire. And remember, even as the cannons roar and the smoke engulfs us, we are invincible in spirit, unbreakable in purpose. So let us stand, my brave soldiers, shoulder to shoulder, hearts afire with determination. Let the world witness the fury of Imperia's sons and daughters. Let them remember that even in the face of overwhelming odds, we stood tall and fought with everything we had. For honor, for victory, onward, my comrades, to glory and immortality. Long live the Imperian Empire. Welcome to our developer log for the Empire Clash Hold the Line update. Thank you so much for your continuous support, and I'm so excited to give you a deep dive into the new content coming to our game. So, you have all been requesting it for a long time now, and we have delivered the Sergeant and Footman Skill Tree. While each class's tree has some slight differences, both trees are designed to make you, the player, very powerful when you are working as a group with your fellow faction members. The primary feature driving this is the brand new discipline mechanic. After unlocking the initial starting perk, your discipline level will depend on how many allies are close by you. The more allies, the better the discipline. But what does discipline do, you may ask? Well, it gives significant combat boosts that could change the tide of an intense battle. For both footmen and sergeant classes, each one point of discipline represents a 1% reduction in the damage you take. This means a player with 20 discipline points will take 20% less damage than a player without discipline. The purpose of this system is to encourage players to fight in formation together with their team, as it was done historically. This will lead to more organized group battles on an even larger scale. I know. Discipline can be extremely powerful. However, because Empire Clash is a strategy game, we made sure to add a counter to it. Well. Now, extremely heavy weapons like the Bardish and the Naginata, a new weapon added in this update, will have the Line Breaker ability, which allows them to ignore protection even by discipline. This way, those of you who enjoy a little more Lone Wolf playstyle will still be able to put up a good fight against groups of enemies. Now, what about the other section of the skill trees? There's something about collecting hats? Well, yes! You can now steal hats of your fallen enemies. To take an enemy's hat, simply walk up to their dead body and it will be added to your inventory. However, the unfortunate soul you decide to take their hat from must be a military class. Now, what do you do with all these hats you've collected? Well, there is a new building in every capital called the Magistrate. Here, 
You can exchange your hats for cool items and perks. These range from coupons for reduced price items, to cosmetics, to even exclusive exotic weapons. That's right, two brand new weapons are being added to Empire Clash in this update, the Katana and the Naginata. Both of these can be purchased with hats in the Magistrate. The Katana deals some heavy damage. It is the most powerful one-handed sword in the game now, and its perfect balance allows it to move at a very swift pace. The Naginata is similar, dealing damage comparable to the locally sourced counterpart, the Bardish. It also has the Line Breaker ability, which allows you to ignore any protection enemies may have from discipline. If you want to be feared on the battlefield, you need to get your hands on these two new weapons. However, one thing to note is the Magistrate is, well, kind of lazy and extremely disorganized. He never has quite the idea of what he has in stock, so every in-game day his inventory will change. Additionally, he needs his beauty sleep, so you won't be able to access him at night. However, make sure to keep checking his shop, as you never know what items you could have available. Lastly, for your inner pyromaniac, let's be honest, you secretly are one, we added grenades to the game. Grenades are exclusive to the sergeant class and can be unlocked with their skill tree. Once you unlock the ability to use them, you can purchase grenades with hats at the Magistrate. Grenades can be thrown by holding down and then releasing. You can hold for longer to make your grenade explode faster when it hits the ground. However, you don't want to hold it for too long if you want to keep your arm, so be careful. If you have a keen eye, which I know you do if you've been watching this far, then you probably have noticed that the combat in the update seems much more fluid. This is because every weapon, as you heard me right, every weapon in the game has brand new animations. These were designed with the help of a community member and are meant to have much more fluidity than the old, more static animations. Additionally, your character itself is more dynamic in this update. As you change where your camera is facing, your character's body will rotate in that same direction. The goal here is to add a lot more immersion to the game and make you feel as if you have a greater impact on the actions of your in-game character. You can finally aim your musket up and down instead of just keeping it in a static position. Lastly, we have added in some light blood effects to the game. We didn't want to go too crazy because Empire Clash has not had this before, but now, when you damage an enemy, some light blood particles will spray from them. If you prefer not to have blood like in older versions of the game, it is fully toggleable in the settings menu. Well, that's it. There's a lot more minor content that's been added to the game as well, but you'll just have to play the update to find out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon fighting in Empire Clash on the battlefields of Stone Tonus.